Hey everybody, welcome to weeks three and four postpartum. So weeks three and four have gone much better than the first two weeks. Overall healing and everything down south is going really well. I had my fourth week appointment with the doctor and she cleared me to exercise and to just kind of get back to normal life, which is fantastic. Obviously, I'm not about to go like run a marathon or anything like that, but I can start exercising slowly and start moving a lot more. Overall, my emotions are much more evened out. I am not necessarily crying every day. Um, I'm still pretty ups and downs, but that's also just the life of a newborn and the fact that I'm not sleeping very much. But my baby blues and just kind of postpartum depression has definitely simmered down a ton, which is a great sigh of relief. I have been less anxious and less just overwhelmed overall. And so that's really exciting. I'm really happy that that didn't really linger a long time for me. I really thought that it would because I do deal with anxiety and panic attacks on a regular basis. And so I really did think that it would kind of stretch on for a good amount of time. If you've watched some of my earlier videos of pregnancy, you know that my anxiety was all over the place and I just had really bad panic attacks and stuff like that the first trimester. So I kind of expected that for the fourth trimester of that they call it, uh, or postpartum, but it really hasn't been bad. I feel like now that I have a purpose with baby being here, it makes life a lot easier, uh, you know, going out and doing things. And it's just, I don't know, it's a lot easier. Sleep mm, is still pretty rough. He is still waking up about every two to three hours to feed. And so, yeah, I haven't had more than like a three hour stretch of sleep since probably December 22nd when he was born. And so it has been a little over a month and still haven't had a full night's sleep. He has gotten a little bit better, a little bit more settled. The other day he actually went a good couple hours without eating and we were able to get a good, more quality sleep, I guess, but it still was within that three hour range. So I cannot wait for that day when he waits like five hours to eat. That sounds awesome. But the issue is, is, you know, by the time he eats and then we change him and then we get him settled in bed and then by the time we go to bed, you know, 30 minutes has already gone by and so it's, and then the cycle just kind of starts over again. So it's, it's hard to, I don't know, get that cycle. All right, as you can see, baby has now joined us. He was fussing out there. So I thought he was asleep, but apparently not. As far as feeling attached to baby, I'm, I gotta try to stay out of the wigs in case you wanna see him. Uh, as far as feeling attached to the baby, it's getting a lot better. I definitely had a really hard time feeling love and attachment to him just because of labor and how everything went and with you know baby blues and postpartum depression it just kind of got rough but it has gotten so much better i feel like my joy of having him is a lot better i don't know i i just feel more love towards him when i do get frustrated i do my best to cuddle him and so you know even if things are going crazy and I just don't necessarily want anything to do with him because <laughs> he's like really fussy or he's keeping me up or you know whatever it might be I try to make sure that I kind of cuddle him extra uh just to I don't know just to try to get as much connection for him I feel like overall my understanding of him is getting better I can kind of sympathize with his cries and you know if I can tell that his stomach's hurting. I get it, you know, I I feel bad for him, but then there's nothing I can do, and so that's really tough. But things are going much better as far as attachment with him. Breastfeeding is still really rough. It's just, I don't know, it's still really rough. He actually like clamped down on me a couple days ago, and 
it hurt so bad. I literally wanted to throw him because it hurt so bad. And your natural reaction when something is hurting is to get away from it. And you can't do that with a baby, so that's really tough. But so I have been pumping for, and you know, after that happened, I started pumping for, you know, about 24 hours to let my nipples just kind of heal and rest because it hurt really bad. But we're still seeing lactation specialists. He is feeding overall better. He has been latching better. He has been breastfeeding better, but it's still just such a challenge. And I never really thought that breastfeeding would be that difficult. And I can totally see how people don't stick with it because it's really hard. But we're doing better and I can see improvement, which is really encouraging, which makes me want to keep going at this point. Overall, the past two weeks have gone really well. I feel a lot more like myself. I feel a lot more joy. I feel a lot more sane overall. I'm still really tired and there's times that are just really rough, but overall I feel a lot more like myself. I have been getting out more. I've been going to like Target and the grocery store or I visited work twice. And so things like that, I've been trying to make sure that almost every day there's something for me to go and do, whether that's picking up the house a little bit or running some errands. <laughs> like I said, I've gone to Target probably, I don't know, a couple of times a week just because it's fun to look through and it's bright and cheery and I don't know, it just kind of gets me out of the house and out of everything that is going on. But we have a super Target, so it has like the grocery store section and everything like that. And so I'm able to get my groceries and things. So that's really nice. That's it for weeks three and four. There's really not that much else to update. Everything is healing really well. I'm feeling a lot better. And yeah, I don't know. I'm feeling more human, more like myself every day. And so I'm really excited to start exercising and start moving a little bit more. I haven't had an official like workout or anything like that, but I've been more active overall. And so I think that has helped a lot, but I hope to actually start, you know, going on a little bit more walks and going, maybe doing some yoga and things like that. But it's been really cold and snowy here in Nashville. And so I haven't been outside as much, but it's really nice and like 50 degrees. So I think it'll be a lot easier to like get out and move a little bit more. That is what I have for weeks three and four postpartum. I feel like I didn't have that much to update, but that's a good thing, I guess, that, that things are just getting better every day. So thank you guys so much for watching and press the subscribe button if you want to see more and give it a thumbs up. And let me know if there's any other videos that you would like to see. Thanks. Bye, guys.